Good morning. In this video I'll show you how to build a Daniel cell. The experience is essentially done to illustrate how a galvanic cell works, and not to produce a cheap source of electricity, but it's just meant to explore the science. Daniel cell was built for the first time in 1836 by the English scientist and chemist John Frederick Daniel and is able to produce about 1 volt in power per cell. Let's get started. Take the small glass containers and fill them with the still water. In the left one put a little more water than in the right one. Now add on the left about 19 grams of zinc sulfate and in the other one about 34 grams of copper sulfate. Mix until the salts are completely dissolved. Now on the left immerse in zinc foil and on the right a copper one. Connect the two beakers with a salt bridge made of paper soak in a solution of water and table of salt. The, the ions will pass from one solution to another. The solutions will mix it all. Now connect your mole meter. A source of about 1 volt is produced. What happens is a redox reaction at the same time the oxidation and reduction. On the left, an anodic cell oxidation occurs. Zinc metal atoms lose each two electrons and become zinc ions with electric charge plus two that dissolve into the solution. This is the reaction. Zn becomes Zn2 plus two ion and two electrons. Electrons pass thanks to wires the copper sulfate solution on the right. On that side, cathodic cell re reduction occurs. The electrons react with copper ions 2 plus and form copper metal that increases the copper foil. This is the reaction. Cu2 plus plus 2 electrons become copper Cu. The complete reaction synthesis of the first and the second one is the following Zn plus Cu2 plus become Zn2 plus plus Cu the molar concentration used for solutions is one mole thanks for watching please subscribe rate and comment too